All right, guys, um, time for a really bad idea. Uh, I got this pumped up to about, it was at 600 PSI. It's been sitting for a while, so it's probably a little, oh, you can't see it. Sorry about that. Got this guy pumped up to about, it was at 600 PSI. It's probably, sure, it's got some tiny leaks somewhere. I can't really hear anything, but it's probably at about, you know, let's say, we'll, we'll guess between 550 and 600 PSI. It's going to be the highest I've ever shot this at. Um, let's see if I can get this. I do have a brass screw that I put in there. Um, no more play in here. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is probably one of the worst ideas I've had. I have a eighth inch aluminum sheet there. I'm going to try shooting an aluminum arrow at it. I expect bad things to happen. Like I said, we are at 600 PSI in this uh, as well. So not only will this be a show of how powerful it is, kind of, although this chamber is pretty tiny so it it could be more powerful if I had larger volume in here which I'll do at some point I'm still messing around with like I said in, in one of my previous videos I'm messing around with the volume of this chamber uh, is, is dictating how powerful this this gun is um, but anyway I'm sure this is a terrible idea the place where I got this arrow has only had this is the only one they've had um, in like two months since I built this gun they've only had this one arrow come in um, they have a place for it they just I don't know if they can't get any more the company doesn't make them so probably a bad idea to be shooting this arrow um, well there's so many bad ideas right now but uh, yeah enough talking I will fire this thing at this aluminum and see what it does I have the archery mat behind it I this is a terrible terrible idea so uh, hopefully you you guys enjoy this Yep, that was a bad idea. It destroyed my arrow, um, which I will show you in a second here. I don't know where the piece flew. That was loud. That was pretty nasty. That sucks. It's a bummer that it destroyed my arrow, but oh well. Oh, for the love of science. All right, so we'll take a look at what it did here. Okay, well, let's see if you can see this. It scratched and dented it it looks like let's feel that okay yeah that's that's fairly nasty um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the right light it did it dented the back of it as well um, let's take a look at my arrow that's a bummer that sucks oh wow holy crap this is amazing what it did to the arrow wow all right let's take a look at this I apologize once again for my crappy camera. This is what it did. It pushed, it didn't break the arrow. Well, I mean it did, this arrow is junk now. It pushed the tip of the arrow. Hopefully you can see this. It's This entire area is bulged out. It pushed the entire tip of the arrow into the shaft of the arrow. Um, pretty amazing power right there. This is the ring that once held it from going in. That is no more. Um, the tip of the arrow looks really nice still. Uh, there's the arrow. I probably shouldn't try and fire this again, but I'm going to. It just sucks that this is the only arrow I have, so that was kind of a bad idea, but I kind of knew that going in. We'll fire this thing as is into the archery mat. We're probably at, you know, who knows, 500-ish PSI. Between five and 600 still. We'll fire it at the archery mat, see how deep it goes in, see if we can shatter this thing or something. Um, let me get it going. All right, let's see how deep that went. And there you go. Sorry about that. There you go. Probably I don't know, eight inches, nine inches maybe. We'll do we'll do one more. This thing's got tons of pressure in it still, as you can hear. It just really pops when I shoot it. Um, so we'll, we'll shoot it a couple more times here. There we go. Probably about the same. I'll go measure this just to see. That measurement was seven and a half inches it went in. We'll take, I don't know, another one, I guess. Uh, maybe I should fire it against something besides the archery mat. 
Who knows what PSI we're at? Probably got to get a gauge on this thing. Let's find out. It's an empty can, and who knows if I'll be able to hit it, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, so close. I'll give it one more try. So obviously we knew that was going to happen. Um, nothing to it. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. I might go uh, just plug the, uh, the gun in and see what kind of PSI uh, the tank is still at. Um, yeah, uh, I have a Patreon account. Uh, some of you may have seen my video describing that. I don't put ads in my video because I don't think YouTube is a place for ads. I don't want to go on YouTube to watch ads. Um, all that being said, if you want to uh, <laughs> donate a couple bucks so I can get another arrow, or you, if you hey, even if you want to send me a couple of these arrows, uh, you can find them on Amazon or something. They are Carbon Express Game Slayer 20 inch. So if you're happy with what I've been doing and you want to see more, Help me get another arrow. So anyway, um, that'll be it. I might come back and tell you what kind of PSI this thing was at, but other than that, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed me destroying an arrow. And uh, yeah, we will catch up with you next time. Might be a little bit, depending on if I can get any more of these arrows. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, hope you guys are having a good one, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Hey guys, uh, I did just check on this. Uh, we're at just uh, it was really hard to get a reading on it, uh, just because of how much pressure is still inside of it. It's really hard to connect the fitting, uh, but we're just about 300 psi. Um, yeah, as you can see, once again, I got no. Uh, where am I going with this? I've got no um, play in the trigger anymore. It's just tight like a tiger. Um, but we'll just do a couple of really quick shots on this and show you. Just how easy it is to, to shoot this thing. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could get it to be uh, <laughs> somehow auto reloaded. But uh, yeah, that'll be it, guys. Anyway, take care. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.